What's going on friends, Rich DeMiro here, Rich on Tech, and we've got a brand new device from Google to show you. Uh, I'm in love with my Google Home and my Google Home Mini. It adds a lot to the stuff that you can control in your home, and this is the next logical evolution of that device. It is called the Google Home Hub. And look at that, they basically added a screen to the Google Home, so this is not only a speaker, but also a device that looks like kind of a tablet placed on a little speaker. So you sit it anywhere you want. You can have this in your bedroom, you can have it in your living room, you can have it in your kitchen, and you now have the power of the Google Mini with all of the smarts and the smart speaker functionality, but with a screen so you can actually see what it's thinking and what you're doing. So when you first take a look at this thing, you notice it's got this nice seven inch screen. It's got a pretty good look to it. So up here at the top, you've got this little light sensor plus two microphones and no camera. So this was actually a design choice by Google because they did not want to have you worrying about whether the camera was on, whether the camera was off, so there's actually no camera on this thing, but there is still a switch on the back where you can turn on and off the, the microphone. Off. So you see that? The Mic mic's back on. Mic's on. The mic's off. Mic off. Mic on, mic off. I feel like there was a movie made by that. No, that was something else. All right, so when you take a look at the screen, the first thing it's doing is when it's kind of just doing nothing, idling, it is showing you pictures from your Google Photos, which is really cool because this becomes now a smart photo album as well. So if you want, you can scroll through some of your pictures there. And if you go over here, this is really cool because if you notice what it just did, this is kind of your now um, a great little alarm clock, a great uh, display for your bedroom because you can now have the clock at night and also set an alarm clock every day uh, with the Google Home Hub. And by the way, this will actually go into this functionality at night. So this little thing up here, I didn't really explain what this was. The mic's back on. But this is not a camera, but it's actually a little sensor. So it's sensing ambient light in the room. So I wonder if I cover this up, if it'll do it. No. Um, but this will actually sense the ambient light. So when it gets dark at night in your bedroom, it will know to, hey, let's go into this mode here where we're just showing a nice clock. Um, alternatively, if you look down here, you can kind of see if we swipe up how bright this thing can get and it can also go pretty dim as well. So that's nice. All right, so let me give you some of the functionality so you saw the pictures. Oh, let me tell you real quick about this really cool new feature that it's doing and something I think that pretty much every techie like myself will be setting up with their family. Um, so it's something called live albums. And if you use Google Photos, you know that some of your pictures are bigger than others. Well, that's Google basically picking out and using artificial intelligence to pick out some of the best pictures that it perceives as the best. So people smiling, uh, eyes are open, that's always a good sign. Um, you've got like nice lighting in the pictures, just a good looking picture as measured by artificial intelligence. Well, now it's using that smarts and taking it to the next level. So you can say, these are my two kids. So Google knows the faces in the pictures. These are my two kids. These are the pictures that I wanna to send to my hub that's over at my mom's place. And the live album will automatically update with the pictures as you take them on your phone and send them to someone else's hub. Now, obviously this doesn't happen automatically. You have to set it up, but that's a really cool feature because if you're like me, you're always sharing pictures of your kids with your friends and family, maybe not friends so much, they sometimes don't care, but your family for sure, they care about all the pictures you're sending them, so you definitely wanna set up that feature, that's really cool. All right, so let's go back into the home screen here. So as you can see, you've got your you know standard stuff like temperature, these are some of the things I was exploring, like a salmon recipe, uh, a music video, the agenda, you can see your calendar, and then of course some suggestions, you've got some YouTube music videos, some YouTube videos, and of course, uh, the assistant is telling you some other things you can ask it. So let's just ask it a typical, typical question like, hey Google, what's the weather like in Tokyo? Currently in Tokyo, it's 66 and clear. Today, so, it'll be clear with a forecasted high of 81 and a low of 64. So again, if you have a Google Home Mini in your home or a Google Home speaker, this is kind of the information that you would get from that speaker, but now it's also visualized. Hey, well, who was the first president of the United States? George Washington was the first president of the United States. And again, if you have kids, they love to ask questions of Google, especially when it's time for homework. Well, what's 25 times 44? I the answer is 1,100. Oh, okay. 
Right, they got it. All right, so there you go. And if you notice, there's actually, I saw like little um, suggestions down here. Well, they went away. But anyway, so you've got that. Uh, now, this is also a great, they call it the hub. So this is a way to control all of your smart home devices here. So you can see you've got your lights, you've got your media, you've got your broadcast, which if you haven't used this feature, by the way, if you have a bunch of um, speakers from Google in your home, you can say broadcast, I'm coming home, or broadcast, time for dinner, or broadcast whatever you want, and all the speakers in your home will broadcast what you just said. And so this makes it really easy because you have one tap to broadcast to everyone in your home. That's a really fun feature. Probably want to tell your family before you use that one because you don't want to spook them like I did. Cameras, of course, it can show you uh, Nest cameras. And again, you know, if you want to watch a music video or something, Google seems to think that people will be watching short, small, Videos so on here can be a little bit daunting with all the different options and price points. So with oh. and again, the audio on this is, is pretty good, it so it's very loud. It. That's going to make the biggest difference, even if it's a cheap. And so these are the kind of stakes. These are stakes. These are the kind of videos that they imagine people watching on these. These shorter, kind of bite-sized videos from YouTube, music videos. I imagine a lot of sports highlights. Um, you know, you can access YouTube TV on here, so if you wanna have this on in a secondary room with the game on, that's a cool use of it as well. Um, at this point, they're sort of limiting it to certain apps. This is not a full-fledged tablet. This is not something you can install Android apps on. This is a Google Home Hub, so they're gonna kinda control the experience, I think at least at the outset right now. This is, again, something that's kinda new. Um, they wanna make it simple. They wanna make it work every time you use it because they want you to rely on it. So if you're trying to do a whole bunch of stuff and download some random apps that may not work or function properly on a screen like this, um, it might not be the best experience. Um, what else can you do on it? You can make phone calls. So a lot of times, like yesterday, I needed to know what time Home Depot opened. Um, again, I just asked Google, hey Google, what time does Home Depot open? There are a few of the Home Depot locations. Here are their business hours for today. And on a Sunday morning, it was open at 7 a.m., I can tell you that, because I was there at 7.15. Yeah, that's what happens when you're, you know, a parent. <laughs> Got to get that stuff for the kids. Okay, uh, well, who are we kidding? It was all for me. All right, so let's go back to the home screen here so you can swipe back there. And again, so this is really neat. So they imagine a lot of people will be using this in the kitchen. So if you're looking at recipes, so if you notice the recipes are... Um, presented in a way that make them easy to follow. So you can go step by step if you want, or you can have Google kind of read you the steps, which is really cool. Um, we made some pico de gallo here, so that's the recipe there. Of course, you can search for any recipe, and you can also do continue cooking. Resuming where, recipe from where you left off. Where it's actually gonna let you kind of follow, the ingredient is kosher salt. follow the recipe right there. So, and then you can go skip to instructions, previous ingredient, and that's really cool because I've done I've definitely done this um, at the house where I've set up kind of a tablet or a phone in the kitchen while I'm cooking, and you know the screen goes off every couple of seconds, so you're trying to like turn it back on when you've got like guacamole on your fingers, and uh, not the best experience. But this is uh, a much better way to do it. So again, you can swipe back to the home screen, and let's go back there again, and you can see these little cards come up of the last things that you were doing. So. Um, there you have it. Kind of the uh, Google Home Hub in a nutshell. And again, this is one of those things that at the beginning, you kind of are gonna use it to ask, hang on. At the beginning with this, you're gonna kind of ask it your typical Google questions. You're gonna play some music. Um, you're gonna look at your pictures, but then uh, as time goes on, you're gonna discover more things you can do with it. And I think that's the beauty of these devices is that you know you may not need every single function that's built into this, but you find what kind of works for you and what works with your lifestyle. And if the alarm and the nighttime clock is the most important thing to you, that's gonna be worth it for you. Uh, price, by the way, 150 bucks, gonna be available in uh, late October. October 22nd on shelves, and it does come in four different colors. So you've got this uh, nice aqua color here. Um, you've got a chalk color here. You've got a sand color here, and the one that I've been showing you here is the charcoal. And one thing to know is uh, they do have a different connector here. So um, it's not your standard kind of USB or USB-C. It is this uh, different type of connector, and this is what plugs into the wall here. So you get a nice, nice long plug there. 
and it's got a little little rubbery grip on the bottom, similar to if you ever saw one of the Google Home Maxes. This is kind of the same material, so it doesn't really move um, on the table there. So, um, all right, there you have it. This is the box. So let's see, is there anything I forgot? We've got the speaker, we've got Bluetooth, uh, you've got the microphones, you've got the light sensor, um, YouTube. Let's just play real quick. Uh, hey, Google, play some pop music. So again, that's going to be one of the main features that people use on this thing is playing music. Um, for me, I'm really looking forward to the photos and the photo album functionality, especially that live album. So uh, there you have it, the Google Home Hub at a glance. Uh, if you have any questions about it, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I personally think this is a very exciting device for the home. I know we're being led down those silos of things, you know, you got to be a uh, either a Google household or, you know, an Apple or an Alexa house. Um, but I think that this is really the missing piece for a lot of people when you've set up your smart home and all your devices. Having that screen is really going to be crucial in kind of taking everything to the next level. So thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have those comments, put them in the uh, comments down there and I will do the best to answer them if you have questions rather. Um, otherwise, if you learned something from this video, go ahead and give it the old thumbs up or share it with your friends if you learned something. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. I'll talk to you real soon. Oh, by the way, one more thing. It does play my podcast. Hey, Google, play the Rich on Tech podcast. I'll continue playing Rich on Tech. License plates go digital. A mini computer on your car, and that means... All right, that's a cool thing to do on there. All right, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.